Hey y'all and welcome back to Superior 2 Explain. We're going to go ahead and start with the installation process now and as you can see I have the first of five DVDs already in my drive and all we're going to do is go ahead and double click this real quick and then we get this window here that has a folder with documentation, install, readme, and avatar. Now I'll go ahead and open each individual one so we can see just what it is. Right here we got the Easy Player Pro manual, okay? Next we're going to have the Superior Drummer Effects Guide. This goes through all of the different effects that comes with Superior. All of the effects from Synoxys, very good stuff. Right here is the main operation manual. This is where all the nuts and bolts are right there. And then right here, we got the Tune Track Solo Operation Manual. And Tune Track Solo is very helpful. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to be using for the predominant time of this video. Okay, so now that we've seen what's in the documentation folder, let's go on into the install folder. You'll see Easy Player Pro for manual installation. Both folders have what you need to get it rocking and rolling. Easy Player Installer and Uninstaller come with Mac. And the Easy Player Installer is right there with PC, okay? Right here is the MIDI library. And right here is Superior Drummer for Mac and for PC, okay? That is your installer and uninstaller, all right? Now let's go ahead and uh, bring this window out a little bit. Let's go back. That right there is a README file that basically tells you thanks for purchasing Superior, okay? It's from TuneTrack. And then um, to install, just navigate to the install superior drummer folder relevant to your platform, which is Mac or PC, like I said. And then it just goes through a couple of other things. All right. But what I am going to suggest you will see in a moment. And uh, my suggestion is don't do a custom install. Just let superior Two install itself and go through all the motions automatically. Okay. Now, right here is the SL avatar that has a lot of the components required to install Superior 2. So, I would not recommend you mess with anything here in this folder. Okay, but I still wanted to show you what it was. But now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this install folder. Come on over to Superior Drummer. And since I'm on the Mac, that's where we're going to go. And next, I'm just going to go ahead and get on up in the Superior Drummer installer by double-clicking it right there. And next, we're greeted with the Install Superior Drummer window, okay? And as you'll see here, it says, Welcome to the Superior Drummer Installer. You will be guided through the steps necessary to install the software. Go on down here and press Continue. Next is some important information. The installer will perform the installation of Superior Drummer for all available formats. Most users can and should use the default install, which will take care of installing the necessary files. That is what I suggest, by the way. I've already said that a couple of times, but I'm, I'm being very serious. By following the suggested path, everything falls into place, okay? It goes on to say that a revised manual is available from the download area. It supersedes the manual shipped with the product. All users should read through Chapter 2, 3, and 4 regardless of previous experience with the sampler. The instructions enclosed in this installer cover software installation only. Okay, please refer to the latest manual if you have not yet installed the library. And then it tells you to go ahead and go to the frequently asked questions section of tunetrack.com. Okay, from this point on, we're just going to go ahead and hit continue. And now this is our software license agreement. You can go ahead and read through all of it, but I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. And right here it says to continue installing the software, you must agree to the terms of the software license agreement. Click Agree to continue or click Disagree to cancel the installation and quit the installer. Well, I agree. And next is the standard install on Mac HD window. Okay, it says this will take 42.3 megs of space on your computer. Click Install to perform a standard installation of the software on the disk, Macintosh HD. Now, right here, you can customize it if you like. Okay, if, for example, you don't use Pro Tools, you can uncheck the RTAS. Or if you don't use any programs that utilize a VST type plugin, you can uncheck that. And likewise with the audio units plugin. I'm going to go ahead and keep them all checked because I like to dabble with all types of DAWs. And then I'm just going to go on back here to where it says standard install because I want to show you this button right here. This is where it says change install location. Now this is something I do not recommend. 
Okay, I recommend you just click on the install button and let Superior take its course. Otherwise, there's a possibility that things won't work well for you later on down the road should you have some easy expansion packs or something like that. If you follow the path, everything falls into place, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and click install. And next, this is where you type your password if you're on a Mac. And now, as you can see, everything's beginning the install process. Now, this should only take a couple of minutes. And there we go. The installation was successful, okay? You can go ahead and click close if you like. And next, this window here pops up. Now, this is the big one, okay? This is where if you want, you can go ahead and do an uninstall, but this is a new install for us, so I'm not even going to worry about that right now. However, you can go ahead and modify everything. This just allows you to go ahead and modify where you want to install the sounds. Now, me, I'm going to say to everybody out there watching to go ahead and follow the suggested path, okay? But what I am going to do is come on down to where it says custom install directory. The reason is I have installed a second hard drive in my Mac. Now this is where I can tell Superior to go ahead and make that installation on my second hard drive. So I'm going to hit browse and then I'm greeted with a choose a folder window and I'm going to go ahead and direct it to audio. And then I'm going to scroll down, and as you can see, I don't have anywhere really to put all of these sound files. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Superior 2, and press Create. Now I'm going to make sure I have the Superior 2 folder highlighted, and press Choose. But again, I have to say, if you're not familiar with this process, then stick with the suggested install directory path right there. Okay, and then we want to hit next, and then you're greeted with a select what to install window. Okay, now this is where you can choose a basic installation of Superior 2. Now, this is handy, for example, if you're on a laptop or something that only has, you know, X amount hard drive space or whatever, but this is going to take care of everything. Okay, this will put it all on your hard drive for you. And now we're going to go ahead and press modify and watch the sparks fly. Okay. Okay. <laughs>